Last time I went Pokemon card hunting here at Walmart, I actually found a whole display of the Celebrations boxes featuring Lance's Charizard and Dark Sylveon. We picked up a few then, but I also went and hid a few of these boxes in an undisclosed location. I'm curious to know if anyone was willing to look in some strange places for Pokemon cards and if they actually found these boxes. And if not, if they're still there, I may actually have to pick them up today. So let's go check it out. This is the section where they usually keep the Pokemon cards and they usually have a decent selection, but it looks like they're all out pretty much. But where I actually hid those Pokemon cards was on this bottom shelf here. Again, last time I was here, there were actually Pokemon cards on this shelf, but behind these boxes, do we have them? Yes, indeed we do. Well, looks like I must have hid them just a little bit too well. Meet me back at home and let's open these up. Now, if it's your first time here, my name is Luke, and after 20 years, I got back into collecting Pokemon cards to chase that feeling of nostalgia from my childhood. So I invite you to come along the collecting journey with me by hitting that subscribe button below. Well guys, yet again, we are Charizard hunting for that celebration Zard. Hopefully today is the day we can pull them. Let's go. All right, guys, before we get into our celebrations boxes, we actually do have some mail to open up here from Whatnot. Whatnot is the app featuring live stream auctions where you can bid on Pokemon cards and other collectibles and often get some pretty great deals. So make sure you use my link in the description below. You can get a $10 credit towards your purchase on Whatnot. All right, let's see what we have in this lot right here. Looks like we got several cards. Very, very nice, very exciting. All right, yeah, this is more than I was expecting. Very nice. First up, okay, we got Blanche, 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 however you wanna pronounce it, which is one that we needed for our Pokemon Go Master Set. Very nice. Yes, we are still working on the Pogo Master Set. And man, I just have to say, I one thing I've noticed is that they definitely changed up the rainbow rares as far as the texture on there. And I think the newer version of them actually looks quite nice. If you look really closely, it's almost more like a square um, pixel, whatever you want to call it for the texture. Yeah, and it just makes them look a lot better. So yeah, that's a really cool one. Even though I'm not a big full art trainer uh, collector or rainbow rare collector, you know, we need these for our last few. There we go. We got good old Candela. Candela. Very nice. I guess we don't need to take a good look at all these. All right. We got Egg Incubator, the gold one. Very nice. Looks like this is going to be mostly for our Pokemon Go Master set. Oh, never mind. Never mind. This is a nice one. We got an alt art here, Blissey V. This is pretty cool. One that doesn't get a lot of love as far as alt arts go, but hey, I like Blissey. Uh, and Chansey, and so I thought that this would be a cool one when I saw it pop up. All right, let's go. Look on the back here. Not the perfect centering, but not bad, no whitening. And last but not least, what do we have? We've got, of course, Spark, the other Rainbow Rare trainer we needed. Very awesome. Got to put this in the top loader. Let's do that. All right, guys, we got some more mail from whatnot. I actually have a huge pile of whatnot mail to catch up on, so let's open up some more. Had some modern cards in that last one, so let's see if this one is some vintage. Oh, and sure enough, it is. I was kind of hoping so. Oh, man, there's some good ones in here already. Let's check these out. First of all, one that I have been eyeing for a long time, the Dragonite from Pokemon, the first movie with the stamp WB on there. Yeah, guys, I did actually get two of these promos from seeing Pokemon the first movie. I'm pretty sure I must have saw it twice because I have the Pikachu one and the Electabuzz one. I never got the Dragonite one, even though he's my favorite. This one is awesome. Yeah, not, not too bad condition. Probably a light play plus. Just a hair of whitening on the back, but a beautiful copy of that. 
All right, what else do we have in here? Got two stuffed into this top loader. I think we already saw the first one here when we opened it. Nice, Vile Plume Hollow. Let's check on the condition here. I feel like the hollow is actually looking pretty decent. A small scratch there, nothing crazy though. Yeah, I feel like the front is actually looking pretty nice. Let's check the back. Oh, there's a little bit of silvering there, if you can catch it in the light. The back. Yeah, this, I would say, looking more light play on the back based on that whitening there at the bottom. A little bit there on the side. Nothing too crazy, but I'm perfectly okay with LP condition as long as it doesn't have any creases in it. And I don't see any, so awesome. Definitely not the, not the best um, hollow from this entire set, but I do like Vileplum as a Pokemon. Yeah, I just feel like this is not the best Vileplum artwork, but it's pretty cool. It's got more of like the, the CG, the 90 CGI artwork. All right, and last off here, we have a classic one, Dark Gyarados the non pre-release one for our Team Rocket Master set. Also looking very nice, Slight, some slight scuffs on the hollow, little uh, silvering kind of right there, Silver, silvering on that side as well, and on the back, yeah, a little bit of whitening. This one I would also consider to be light play. I may eventually have to get a better copy of this because this is one I wouldn't mind having in a near mint condition and possibly one with a swirl, but it definitely works for our binder for now. Love this artwork. I've always loved this one. And that hollow is just really awesome. First introduction of the Cosmo Galaxy hollow full pattern. Gotta love it. All right, hope you guys enjoyed seeing those pickups. But without further ado, let's go Zard hunting and celebrations. It's nice that we got the Sylveon and the Zard artwork. We don't always find both of them. There's your Dark Sylveon promo card and a code card for that if you'd like. And we'll get organized starting off with Fusion Strike like we do. Still haven't pulled any alt arts from this set, so let's go ahead and do that. Today. There's a code card for you. And boom with the water energy. Done sparse dancer. Pangoro. We'll see. Vulpix. Meltan. Toxel. Star U. Zerua. Reverse. And we got Oricorio. I don't know if I've ever seen that artwork. Kind of cool looking. So much for that. Well, let's get some more pain in our chilling, our chilling, heh, I was gonna say chilling rain, evolving skies or evolving cries. Yeah, sorry, there's no pain in evolving skies, only, only crying and weeping and gnashing of teeth, that's all. All right, here we go. Hippo, Don, Tentacruel, Rubber Gloves, Applin, I grabbed two there, but who cares? Nicket, Bergmite, Pyroar, Lilligant, that's okay. We have the best yet to come in our celebrations packs. All right, guys, let's get that Zard. Ho-oh, Kyogre, not in there. Pikachu, and a code card for you. All right, Dialga. Cosmoem, Xerneas, Flying Pikachu V, come on. Have a code. Let's see what we have. Cosmog, nothing. Cosmoem, Pikachu yet again. Wow, two Pikachus in this box. All right, no classic collection cards so far. Which is fine, because we are only looking for one, so let's see if it's in this pack. Palkia. 
birthday Pikachu. So we got one, not bad. And ending off with Professor's Research and a code card. Well, well, we are still just halfway through. We got another box to go, but hey guys, I have got even more mail I wanna open up with you guys today. This one comes from eBay. You guys know I have been on a bit of a Star Wars kick recently, so we just might have a Star Wars card in here. And wow, look at all of that. It's quite a lot of uh, packaging here. All that for, I'm pretty sure, just one card. So <laughs> we will find out exactly what it is. Okay, I concluded it in a... Whoa, this is a weird... This is really weird packaging right here. I guess this is how some people probably send their cards off for grading to uh, add that extra rigidness, which I'm like, if that's the case, why don't you just send a top loader? All right, guys, we have a card here. It's actually not from Star Wars Galaxy, which is the set that I've been opening recently. This is actually from the Topps Chrome Mandalorian set. And uh, yeah, I actually like a few of the cards from this set. Most of them are just the you know photos that I don't particularly care for but these ones are pretty cool I'm a big fan of the Mandalorian TV show and uh, one thing I think is really cool is at the end credits they always in, kind of show the concept artwork uh, kind of in preparation for the show and so that's kind of what this is was one of the concept artworks of Ahsoka that was a really cool episode from season two featuring Rosario Dawson and this is actually another numbered card looks like 57 out of 99 there's 25 of these concept artworks and of course the blue border is kind of for this uh, special numbered version the regular ones just have a, a plain white uh, border or reflective border yeah so I thought that that was pretty cool and actually I picked up another one of these not too long ago which I just kind of already opened here so I want to show you that as well yeah we another artwork from season two which is baby Yoda aka Grogu very nice just shown him from the back there um, I'm trying to remember where this location is in the Star Wars lore yeah I forget off the top of my head what do we got here? Is that 84 out of 99? Very nice. So this one also is a blue one. Very awesome. So yeah, guys, just wanted to show those off real quick. If you guys are not familiar with Star Wars cards, just want to expose people to maybe something new if you are into Star Wars like I am. But that being said, let's get back into our celebrations opening. There's that, and there's that. And let's keep things rolling. Hopefully this box is a little better than the last one. Not that that Pikachu, birthday Pikachu one was bad. But we didn't even get any hits in our non-celebrations packs, which is always a bummer. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. Metal Energy. Adventures Discovery. Schoolgirl, Luxio, Impidimp, Stom, Onyx, cool artwork there, Jigglypuff, Durant, Tynamo, and we got anything here? Ooh, looks like a little bit of something, maybe just a regular V. Oh, V Max, Cinderace V Max, that's something. All right, let's hope we don't cry for this one. was indeed four to the front. Hippo Don, Golduck, Scroll of the Fang Dragon, Tim Pole, What a Cutie Fly, Applin, Sably Eye, Nicket, if I can get a hold of these cards, Melotic, and we have a Shift Tree non hollow Rare. I mean, you know, you get a hit in the first pack. Can you really expect one in the second one? It is what it is. All right, guys. Here we go. Last four packs of the opening. Is that Zard in there? Lugia. 
Cosmoem, Groudon, nope, Zamazin to V in a code. Yvetzel, Kyogre, Ho-Oh, and Surfing Pikachu V Max. Alright, starting with the Reshiram for our second to last pack. Palkia. Zekrom Nutta. Soul Galeo. Alright. Dang, definitely not seeing the amount of classic collection cards you want to see. But could it be in this last pack? Let's get that last pack magic, guys. Alright. Ho oh, oh. Xerneas. Do we have it? Oh, you betzel. And a flying Pikachu V. Not even a classic collection in that one. Well, what can you say? Birthday Pikachu is a great one, but definitely more excited about our whatnot pickups today. We got some cool ones that are a nice variety as well. Love it. Check out one of these videos on screen if you like Pokemon card hunts and openings. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below to support the channel, I'd really appreciate it. And lastly, I want to let you know that no matter what you're going through, you are not alone. God is with you and he loves you, and we do too. I'll catch you next time.